What do we have here? And yeah. Link, no talk to if you're not watching High Town season one, man, you're missing out on a great show. We've discussed in our reviews all the drama, all the pageantry, all the conniving that's going on. And they just dropped the trailer yesterday and we're gonna break it down and try to let you guys know what you can expect in episode three of High Town. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on the notifications because a lot of people aren't getting them so that when we drop videos, you get them. I go live with the Black Avengers of Current Culture every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. And we cover all the heavy subjects. Right now, we're discussing what's going on with the killing of another unarmed black man and all the riots and the mayhem and our president saying some very, very stupid stuff. We don't hold back when we go live. Please join us. I'm gonna show y'all a snippet of the trailer. Not the whole thing, but a snippet because YouTube be trying to demonetize. I'm gonna show you what was the most significant to me, and then we'll come back and talk about the trailer. Do you know him? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. what's the matter? I just wanna talk. Stay out of my house. Some bitch is asking questions about that thing in Toro. First scene we see and my wife is gonna kill me for saying this boy name like this, a sippy day with Junior talking about how Frank, the person in jail, the crime boss in jail, wanted him to kill Junior. Now we was discussing that in the very first episode when a sippy day shot that girl right in the head, the white guy that was with him, we think that was Junior. Apparently it was, but my question would be, why is Asipide wanting Junior to be stay alive? What is his motive? Why was he trying to spare this guy's life? I guess we'll find out if they don't kill Junior in this episode. Then we see Officer Saberho. In this scene, he's talking to Junior and he's asking Junior to, in essence, rat on Asipide. And as he's talking to him and Junior looks down, my man passes the hell out on the floor. Now, later in the trailer, I'll connect the dots to this, but this could be the end of Junior, or he could be in a coma. Then from there, we see Crazy Jackie going back to that lady's house who had all the problems, that was wearing the earrings of Krista. And she's telling her to get the hell up out of there, leave me alone, get away. But then, one of the most damning pieces of evidence that lets us know what's going on in this episode as well as the season. This is the girl that was in rehab that Jackie saw and went and had a smash session with. Who is she talking to? Is she talking to Frank on the phone or is she talking to Krista? If I had to guess, because she's mentioning the incident where they threw the girl over the boat, I would say she's probably working with Frank and is talking to him. And then we see another picture of Crazy Jackie trying to figure out what the hell is going on. She's losing her mind. She can't believe someone has died in the manner in which they did. And she's in a rehab class with the girl who is a friend of the person that died. Then we see Jackie talking to Officer Savaho. And the thing about Jackie is, chick, you work for the Marine cops. You supposed to be out there helping fishermen measure the penis size of lobsters. Helping fishermen make sure that they're not taking all the female lobsters. And you in here with Officer Saberho trying to figure out who done something in a criminal investigation. This could be because Jackie's trying to save her own skin. Now this is another damning piece of evidence in this trailer. You see Officer Saberho's partner and they're staking out Junior's place. Junior is walking up to a Dodge Charger. Now, I'm assuming this particular thing happens before we see Junior talking to Officer Saberho when he passes out. Because Junior goes to the car, these guys are about to pass him some drugs, and then they snatch his ass up in the car, and I guess they ruffled his feathers, beat him up a little bit, but I'm assuming whatever they handed Junior, he ingested that. Then the cops pick him up after these dudes roll away 
And when they take him in there for questioning, it's when he passes out and either dies or is going to go into a deep coma. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the breakdown of this trailer. Really, really, really good show done by Jerry Brockenheimer and his crew. They put a lot of time into this story and I'm loving it so far. You guys should jump in and take a look at it too. But tell me what you think about the events in this trailer and what you think is going to happen in this episode coming on Sunday. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, get yourself a life game, turn on those notifications, donate to my Patreon, join us live tonight, Friday, me, Larry T. Streams, the Black Avengers of Current Culture, as we continue the conversation about the riots going on, our president and his crazy tweets, and will justice be served? We'll be doing that at 9 o'clock. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.